just received an obscene phone call, and I hit star six nine, and I got you. Um, I didn't call you. Who is this? Is this Faggot Joe? No, my name is William. <gasps> dun da dun dun. You hear that, Willie Billy? Dun da dun dun da. I knew it was you, Willie. You gave it all away. If I had Judge Judy here, she'd be bringing down the gavel of justice on you. But I didn't call you. I Willie. <sighs> what? Did you know that you're missing your left arm? Oh my god, your right is gone! Oh god, art! <laughs> what a maroon. What a load of poop. <laughs> poop. I refuse to believe that Deckard was a replicant. Stretch, you're in complete denial. He totally was. Please! The evidence in that film was completely inconclusive. Then how do you explain that Gaff knew what Deckard was dreaming about? I'm telling you, that origami unicorn at the end meant that Gaff knew about the implanted memories in Deckard's android brain. Not good enough. How can Deckard be a replicant when he's physically outmatched by Roy, Leon, Zora, and Pris? He was a fragile human! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. The videos that Brian Church Deckard include a mental and physical rating for each of the rogue replicants. In all cases, they were rated A for the physicality. If Deckard was a replicant designed to think it was human, it was probably made at B physical, which would correspond to basic human strength. Remember when Deckard can slam a door that Rachel the replicant was trying to open? I guess that would indicate that she was a C rank in physicality. Would you like some more moose juice? No, we're fine. Everything. Is fine. Uh, I'll get you your check. What's with him? Whoa. Everything I'm about to tell you is a joke. Do not take it seriously. Uh, alright. See that car out there? It's a hitchhiker attack car. Vroom! <laughs> Don't stare! See that car? It's a hitchhiker attack car. It has been remodeled to home in and attack hitchhikers. A hitchhiker attack car? A hitchhiker attack car.